we have this, this incredible person named Carly who, um, hey, come on up. <laughs> and I wanted you to hear some of her story. So tell us a little bit about where you come from and where you've landed today, okay? Yeah. Okay, so I grew up in Pittsburgh. Um, I grew up in the church, went to church every Sunday, every Wednesday night. Um, but I don't think I really ever knew who Jesus was personally. I, I knew of him and I just had a really hard time trusting him because in eighth grade, I started struggling with mental health. Um, I fell into a super deep depression at age 13. I was cutting myself and self-harming. Um, I didn't see a way in the dark, um, but thank God that he is Adonai El Roy, the God who sees. So even in that darkness, he saw me and he knew that there was a way and he put people in my life um, to bring me out of that. It did take a while because I was resisting and running from him for so long. Um, and I went from that kind of coping through high school and into college, I started using drugs. Um, and it was just a little bit at first, I thought it was harmless, it was just fun, it's just what college kids do. Um, but I was trying to fill a void and numb the feelings that I uh, was experiencing. And so, um, it got so bad that I had to check myself into rehab um, for about a month. And I wish I could say that like in that moment that I was healed, but I was terrified of letting go. I was comfortable in that. That's all that I ever knew. Um, so it did get better. I was able to actually, I don't think I told you this, a week from today, I will be three years sober. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, um, but I just still just, I wasn't quite there yet, I wasn't 100%, and my wonderful, beautiful friend, Veronica, brought me here to Sanctuary, I think it was worship night the first week of February, and God met me where I was that first night, I just fell on my face and saw him for who he truly was, like, he just met me in that moment, um, and I came back week after week, and it wasn't any one moment that like I was healed, or changed, it was like piece by piece, layer by layer that he pulled back. Um, and you had that message about wild ones and all of the layers had finally come back and I was like, all right, I'm all in. Like, I wanna pursue you, but I don't wanna just pursue you and be hungry, I wanna be relentless, I wanna be wild about it. Um, and so I was baptized in second grade, um, but I didn't really know the impact of the decision I had made or the weight of it, and I had wandered away, but now I came home. And so I wanted to um, recommit myself, and so Easter Sunday, Jason, yeah, Jason dared us um, to be baptized, and so I did. I didn't have clothes, but they had clothes, and so I was like, I don't really have an excuse. So <laughs> I did, and it was life-changing. Come on, can you celebrate what God's done? <laughs> so is there anything else you wanna tell everyone about what God's done? Mm. Um, let's see, I, I never thought that I could get to this place. Um, I was actually re-diagnosed with bipolar disorder. Um, and so when I had this transformation happen, I experienced joy and happiness like I had never before. And I panicked because Bipolar disorder, um, you can be depressed or you can be manic. And I thought I had swung the other way and was experiencing this mania. Um, so I went to my therapist and my psychiatrist. I'm like, do I need to change my medication? And they're like, Carly, you've been healed. Like, you are healthy. And I was like, this is how, like, I can actually feel this good. Like, I didn't ever think that, like, I could get to a place. I thought it was gonna be like this the rest of my life, but God is good. Come on, let's go.